Mastering Data Representation for the ACT Science Section. Hello there, English learners. Today we're diving deep into the world of the ACT Science Section. More specifically, we'll be unraveling the mysteries of data representation passages and, within that, focusing on interpreting data and trends. Mastering this will give you the upper hand in your ACT preparation. Data representation in the ACT Science section is all about understanding charts, graphs, tables, and other visuals. Think of these visuals as stories. They're trying to tell you something, and your job is to decipher their message. Charts and tables. These present information in rows and columns. Look out for headings and labels. They give you clues about what the data is representing. Graphs. These could be line graphs, bar graphs, or pie charts, among others. Each type has its own way of presenting data. For instance, line graphs often show change over time. Other visuals. You might also encounter diagrams or flow charts. These visuals often explain processes or show relationships between different parts. Now, let's delve deeper into interpreting this data. 1. Spot the trend. Look at the direction in which data is moving. Is it increasing, decreasing, or staying the same? For instance, if you have a line graph and the line is moving upwards, that indicates an increasing trend. 2. Compare data points. Sometimes you'll need to compare values from different parts of a graph or chart. This will help you understand differences or similarities between sets of data. 3. Draw conclusions. Based on the trends and data points, what can you conclude? For instance, if the graph shows a clear upward trend in global temperatures over decades, one could conclude that global warming is occurring. 4. Pay attention to units and scale. The units, like kilogram, m, seconds, can provide context. The scale on a graph can sometimes be misleading, so always ensure you've taken a good look at it. 1. Overthinking. The ACT doesn't try to trick you. The data is straightforward. Don't make interpretations more complex than they need to be. 2. Ignoring the small details. Details like the legend on a graph, footnotes on a table, or axis labels can provide critical information. 3. Rushing through. Take your time to ensure you fully understand the data before answering questions. It's easy to make mistakes if you're rushing. Interpreting data and trends is a valuable skill not just for the ACT, but for life in general. With these tips and insights, you're one step closer to mastering this section of the ACT science test. Remember, practice makes perfect. Keep working on sample data representations and soon, you'll be interpreting them like a pro. Good luck, and happy studying!